Kaya Cakes! Welcome to another video. So today we will be discussing all about helminthic infections. So in today's video, I am going to tell you the names of the helminthic diseases, the causative agents for those, the mode of transmission, and we will be also talking about the definitive and intermediate host for these parasites. Okay, this is a very important part from which ICMR and many other exams like JNU get asked questions. So please stick till the end of the video to know all about the common helminthic diseases that affect human beings. Guys, thank you so much for commenting on all my videos and giving me video ideas and putting down your requests. Thanks to all those who have left such beautiful comments for me. And now without much further ado, let's get right into the video. So firstly, we need to understand what is the meaning of a definitive host and intermediate host. Now, definitive host is the one that the organism uses in order to reproduce. So those organisms that support the sexual stages of a parasite are said to be the definitive host. They are also called as the primary host. Whereas intermediate host is the one that does not support the immature or the non-reproductive stages of these parasites and they are called as the secondary host. Okay, so definitive host in the further slides of mine, I have indicated by DH and intermediate host by IH. Now, the first infection is filariasis, which is also called as elephantiasis. It is caused by the nematode Bucheria bancorofti and it is transmitted by the female Culex mosquito. The definitive host for filariasis is humans and the intermediate host, host is arthropods. Next one is ariasis is caused by the organism Ascariasis lumbricoides and basically it is transmitted via ingestion of eggs present in the soil. Next, the host, so it has no intermediate host. Humans are its definitive host. Next is teniasis. Teniasis also called as the tape or the flat worm and it has three different uh, organisms that cause it. That is tenia saginata, which is present in the beef. It's called as the beef worm. Tenia solium, which is present in pork, that is pigs. And tenia asiatica, which is basically present again in the pork. Okay. Now, how is it basically transmitted? So, it latches to the human gut using its hook and sucker and it is spread by consuming the meat of these uh, animals like beef and pork. The definitive host for this is humans and the intermediate host as said is pigs and cattle. Next one. Next one is Drachenculiasis called as the Gunia worm disease, which is called by, caused by the organism D. mediensis, which is basically a round worm. How is it transmitted? By the consumption of contaminated water. The water that is contaminated is by this water flea, is called as the cyclops. Now, these basically form the intermediate host for the Gunia worm and it definitive host is humans. This particular disease is close to eradication in our country as well as around the world. If you want to know the list of these diseases that are going have been eliminated, eliminated or those that are eradicated, check the i button or the link in the description and do watch that video. Next one is trichuriasis, which is caused by the whip worm. Trichuris trichuria. Now, basically, it is spread by the ingestion of the eggs and it is passed via the phaco oral route. Okay. So, basically, if the uh, feces of an 
infected person is ingested and there are those eggs that are present will then cause a infection in the host the definitive host for this infection is human and there is no known intermediate host for this particular organism next is the hookworms so two species nectar americanus and encyclostoma duodenali basically it infects the intestines and it is transmitted via soil the definitive host for it is humans and there is no need for an intermediate host next is cystic encinococcosis it is basically also called as the hydatid disease and it is transmitted by the organism e granulosis which is basically having the definitive host that is dogs and the intermediate host is sheep and humans so that's it for me for today's video if you want any other video please let me know in the comments down below and i'll see you in my next one bye